all right now this example is not in your notes I forgot to add it in there but it's it's uh, one that's very similar to the first example that we did um, so I thought this would be a good kind of review of linearization just more practice so that you can see some different problems but we want to use linearization to find the square root of 123 now remember linearization if you go back to that first slide linearization of X is going to be the function of a minus f prime of a times x minus a. So basically what we're going to have to do is figure out um, the derivative. So of what? Well the derivative of, let's treat this guy as a function of x. So f of, f of x is equal to x to the one half and we'll come down here and we'll say f prime of x is equal to one half x to the negative one half or one over two squared of x. Okay, so this is our initial setup. The rest of what are we going to do and how are we going to do it becomes a little bit tricky. So what we've got is um, a situation where we've got x equal to 123. Well, I I know, I don't know the square root of 123. I don't know. Okay, this is what we're trying to find out. But a square root that's really close to that is 121. So what if I let x equal 121? That's pretty close to 123, you know, in the grand scheme of things. And so the square root of that is 11 and and if I do that again um, I could have the uh, let's see that's going to be 1 over 2 times 11 So I've got, I've got kind of these two parts, but how far then do I have to go to get to um, 123? And, and that would be, I'm going two spots. So if my A is, is 121, holy smokes, where'd my stuff go? There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow this right here, and I'm going to have 11 minus f prime of a, which is 1 over 22, times x minus a, what is x? x is 123, minus a, which is 121. So there's your setup for that guy. Pretty painless, actually. We're just going to follow that pattern um, that we've been given. So 123 minus 121 is 2, so 11 minus 122 times 2 it's going to be 11 minus 1 over 11, which is, I don't know what that is, is a fraction, would be 120 over 11. Is that right? And then 120 over 11, since we're trying to determine um, the square root of 123, we'd do 120 divided by 11. And... I get 10.909. Well, okay, it would sure help if I could punch my stuff in correctly because this should be pluses all the way around. Yikes. So when you add all this up, It's going to work out perfect. So 121 plus 1 is 122. 122 divided by 11 is, and I quote, 11.09. 09. So there's using your linearization. It's really kind of a fun thing to do. You could use cube roots or fourth roots or fifth roots, or whatever root you wanted to find. You could use something you know to find something you don't. It's kind of exciting.